Before we begin our takeaway, I do want to recognize the leaders, the facilitators for the small groups. Most of them are the ethics champion for their organization, and some were um, talked into being a facilitator for their organization. Um, group one, Dina Barti, would you like to stand up? And would all the other group one members stand up? There you go. Group two, Patrick Radigan, Colorado State University Pueblo. Group two, stand up. Yay. Group three, Deborah Powers, Fort Lewis College. She, Corey said that she convinced you and to go easy on you. So welcome. And group three, stand up with Debbie. There. Debbie. Okay, great. Group four, Warren Munich, Pikes Peak Community College. Group four, let's see ya. Group five, Travis Parkhurst, Pueblo Community College. Group five, let's see you stand up. Group six, Melissa Kleinschmidt, Trinidad State Junior College. Group six, stand up. Group seven, Devin Engel, University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Group six, stand up. Or seven. <laughs> group eight, they had me. And group eight, stand up. We had a great conversation. Group nine in the boardroom. Maybe they're not here. Jeff Dykes. Yeah, group nine. And group 10, Jessica Laramie from Western Colorado University, group 10. Okay, so I'm really glad and pleased that you were able to uh, work on, on the small group discussions. And uh, we're going to start, David's going to give a little uh, a brief introduction for the reason why we're doing this, this, this session to, to close our um, summit. Great, thank you very much. Uh, emphasis on brief. Um, so it just makes sense that um, uh, a lot of people have come from a lot of places, from a lot of different backgrounds, with a lot of different ideas, and it makes a lot of sense for us to solidify what we've learned here, to reiterate its importance, and to, um, and to um, make sure that this is something we carry into the future. We're not just here to talk. This is supposed to be something that leads to further action. Um, and so for that reason, um, uh, th this, this, final, um, this final session, I think, is going to be very, very important. And um, as has been previously stated, um, we will be sharing these uh, results with, uh, with everybody um, in the due course of time. So first thing that we would like to do, if we can ask um, our um, uh, voice of God here to put up our note the first one the um, what are the ethical issues one of our very first polls that we did this morning yeah he'll get there did you notice that turns <laughs> right okay so go you, you, you guys remember this is what you said and by the way, we did max out, so if you did try to do it and you said it was full, it's because everybody was so engaged. Okay, so, Speaking. excuse me, uh, so um, we've been voting early and sort of often on this. The question is, based on what we've learned from the keynote speakers and our breakout sessions and the panels, um, have any of you changed your minds about any of these? What, what do you think are the top issues? And so this is an opportunity for you to revote. Vote things up well, and you down. Can't, it's not you can't open. Vote. You can't revote. So what we're going to do is open the mics. Do okay, my bad. So yes, then the question is. Um, okay. So so we'd like some people to bring up the. Um, if you have any other <laughs> ethical issues, let us let's let's open up the mics to get some. If there's new ethical issues that came up, or if you feel like. Um, one of these is, is, is actually higher ranked than what's reflected here. So, okay, group one, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna, who, someone from group one. Okay, what ethical issues? Did you guys have that discussion at all? 
We did. And one of the things that came out of our Mike, 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 Mike. One of the things that came out of our discussion um, was goals, if we have similar goals. And I guess I really appreciate that 34% of us are worried about protecting our natural resources. And I think we've all got a different perspective on um, how we use those resources, but we've all got the same goal. And that was kind of what our group came to was an important starting place. Good. Go ahead. So just to follow up, um, we have the same goal, just making sure we're crystal clear as we walk away because this is what we're carrying forward. Uh, what is that goal specifically? Protection and natural resources. And ethics, hopefully, specifically. Okay. <laughs> so, group two, do you have anything to add? Group. Okay, group two, you got some, you gotta get some mics, yeah. And in fact, group three can. One of the things that we found in uh, group two that we thought was a little bit interesting was kind of an expansion of our conflicts amongst users and outdoors. But it, it, it was difficult to actually, if you had a stake planted somewhere in the ground, it was hard to pull it up, just because you had already said, no, this is what I believe, this is where I wanna go. And if you had individuals who disagreed with you, it's difficult for you to back away from that position at that point in time. So if I believe in, say, like, um, you know, re renewable re energy or something like that, and I've really, you know, built my entire, you know, profile around that and my entire uh, argument around that, and then to the speaker's point this morning, if I find out that there's something about that that's not factual, and, you know, it's really hard for me to change my mind once I've already made that public. So, so the question is, um, uh, how do we resolve these um, these conflicting things? Um, uh, would uh, Deborah Powers have a s have some suggestions group about that three. from Group Three, or anybody from Group Three? Excuse me, I didn't mean to put you on the uh, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but anybody from Group Three? You can pass the mic. Um, well, I was just thinking we were all giving uh, examples of what our action steps were, but I think some of the patterns were was really focusing on developing relations with others and having compassion, having self-awareness, and um, it can be challenging by trying to listen to others that you don't agree with, trying to understand where they're coming from rather than forcing your opinions onto them, focusing on common ground and um, supporting socially responsible businesses and business practices. So the, we're kind of focused more on our solutions. Those are patterns. That's what we the next steps. Yeah. So let's thank you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, group four. Group four? Sorry. Yeah. 